Okay, something that's really common that people want to do is export 3D PDF files. So I've got this speaker model here, and to export the 3D PDF file from NitroCell, all you have to do is come into the uh, execution worksheet, select the model object type, and scroll down to export 3D PDF. By default, it's going to accept the current active assembly or model within Creo. Uh, so I don't have to put any names here. I could put a specific name here, and it would go do just that. And the uh, final directory and or name that I want it to be named would be in the second cell here. So this is my current working directory for this speaker. I'm just going to press the do it button and let it uh, go and generate that 3D PDF on its own. Sometimes 3D PDF files can take just a little while to generate, so be patient. And here it is. So I'm going to open this up with Adobe Reader. And you'll notice that when I click on it in Adobe, it brings up the 3D PDF version of that file. Okay, so I may not want to generate uh, these files within there, so I'm going to create a subfolder called exports. And within that exports directory, I'm going to write not just the 3D PDF file of this speaker, but I'm going to give it a new name also. So I'm going to say exports uh, final, final speaker. And when I press the do it button, it's going to take the current content that's on the screen write it to my um, exports directory, and here is the final 3D PDF file that we've generated um, in that directory. And you can see that it still works.